This is founded from the uh, University Student Union Alumni Force. I work for the organization as a, a general secretary. So like, I think uh, this, this kind of day is very important uh, for the, for against the anti dictatorship and, and you know, uh, to, uh, to build the new uh, federal democracy state for our country. This is very important, and and also like um, we uh, uh, we must continue uh, to hold that kind of uh, seven July separates uh, for a uh, coming uh, against the uh, military dictatorships, and and then like uh, to build a, a new nation in for our country. I think events like this are incredibly important and it really goes to show the strong sense of resistance and the revolutionary spirit that, that continues um, after the coup from 2021. Um, and it really shows a very good turnout and, um, and a multi-generational attendance, which I think is, is really quite remarkable. Um, and I think it's events like this that really keep the spirit um, of the revolution moving forward. Um, and I think it also helps to connect um, people who are here with people in Yangon who are, who are demonstrating as well. And, you know, we've seen these remarkable photos of people with the football jerseys walking around with 7762. Um, and so that's, that's why I'm here really to, um, to support all the struggle that Myanmar people um, are engaged in because I think it's incredibly important. Uh, the history of 7 July has been blurred by the military junta uh, intentionally, but after the coup 2021, uh, people became aware of what 7 July and now students inside the country and diaspora communities, we are celebrating 7 July to uh, commemorate uh, the bravery of the students. So, uh, so how can I say that history uh, cannot be removed and the, the real history of our struggle will remain in the history of our country. Mm -hmm.